Well, I think it's easy to come here, doesn't it? But when they come here, they get everything. They, well, they looked after first, don't they, from what I heard. I'm trying to think of ever, any poles we've worked with that we've got on with. That, that Yerrick, he was a funny company. Basically, mate. He would never it, puff. The country's been led to believe they're the hardest working people in the world, but from what we see of it, mate, we know different, don't we? I'm hanging again this morning. Did, did you, well, you've been trying to get hold of him? Yeah. I'm trying to get hold of him. Completed. Going on to phase two now. Yeah, that is phase two. The dog's basking, basking in the sun. Before it goes off. Can't come up here because it's too steep for him. Do you reckon that that, that they are responsible a lot for the situation we find ourselves in? I don't think you can really should you blame them 100 percent can you? But it, what I'm trying to say is, is when you're in a terrible state like this, why don't they put the boulders up and say, look, hold up a minute. You can come here but not now. I mean they talk about unlimited immigration into this country don't you think that i mean i think that's the nuttiest thing i've ever ever heard of unlimited mate that's as, as many as you like and you can go on back to back to poland and, and still get your dull money still get your dull money and child allowance for and child allowance for six right. seven children or whatever so either we don't know what we're talking about and the government knows better than us or or we, we just don't fully we just don't fully understand it there's something missing in it if we come too far down, <laughs> <laughs> who said um, that the British worker would just have to get used to it, the poles are a lot harder working and skillful. Did, you, did you read that? Yeah, it was it was Peter Manderson, wasn't it? But he's gonna say that, isn't he? No, I don't I, I, I find that offensive that so that they would say that the English man or the English worker is lazy. Lazy and, and it's, it's what they read, isn't it mate? What the government tell them though, isn't it? That's why they, they, they bring them here, don't they? Come over. The English don't want to work. You come. Yeah, but I, I, I mean, you do get the lazy Englishman. Of course you do, mate. They're, they're everywhere, aren't they? You, you do get the slug of a man, but... I don't know. I would I would never consider employing a pole to do anything for me. I mean, if you, you, you want to talk real heavy, mate. You know, you've got to say, well, we go to work. And what have you got? Yeah. And what have I got? Yeah, well. I've been born here, I've worked here, I've been on my own work myself, all the time. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, mate, bang, they want to take me house off me. They say, this happened the other one. And they bring them all over here, and all you see is them driving about in new. new yeah. Come see, come, come and see. Come see our new van, they say to me and him, do not they? Yeah. Look, lovely van. You drive this? I, I have no van, you have dog. Yeah. <laughs> this government has made me more racist than I ever thought I could possibly be. Yeah. And that is only simply because you're a second class citizen in your own country when it comes to a foreigner, mate, who's standing in the queue beside you. And I've felt it many, many times. And I want to. I want to leave this country if I could. Yeah, it's not a myth, is it? But yeah. it's, 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 it's I would definitely, true. definitely leave this country and do if I had the money. Yeah. To be honest with you. Yeah.